Welcome to the How to Beach channel. Normally this is a place where I take you around, give you a tour of Caribbean beaches, give you beach, hip, beach tips and gear reviews. And today I wanna to talk about some packing tips. I've done a couple quick little videos about how to pack um, you, when you're going to a Caribbean island. I do a lot of island hopping here. So I have some quick tips and tricks that I've done before, but I'm about to go on a big trip to Europe and we're gonna definitely see some beaches while we're there. So stay tuned for some European beaches. But today I want to show you how I can pack everything that I need for three weeks into a carry-on bag. And some of the things that I'm going to take with me, uh, we're traveling to Spain and the temperature is going to be 48 lows in the evenings to highs of 98 degrees in the daytime. So I've got to pack warm clothes. I've got to pack cold clothes. Um, being from the beach, I don't have a lot of those warm clothes anymore but I've got a lot of natural fibers, linens, and things I wanna talk a little bit about in this video for when you are going on a beach vacation to a hot place and how you can pack some cool things as well, so or pack some things for cool weather as well. So I'm gonna show you what I've got in my bag here for three weeks traveling through Spain, and I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. I don't quite fit in the frame here. We'll figure it out. I'm in my boudoir, welcome to my bedroom where I did all the packing. Um, so I can't get the camera back any farther. I've got the 22 millimeter lens on, but we'll get this figured out. It'll still be cool, I promise. Stay with me. So I did buy a new backpack uh, travel bag for this trip. I've been traveling with the old style backpacking backpack where you have to go in through the top and you're always rooting around in there looking for clothes and everything's a disaster. And you have taken everything out of your backpack every time you want to change clothes or you take a shower. So I decided I'm a grown up now. It's time to get rid of the old backpacking backpack. And I got this baby, uh, still got the tag on it. I reached out to a couple of the bigger, this is what I got. Can't focus. I like to focus on my face. So this is an Inatech. I reached out to a couple other companies that were more expensive that did not want to sponsor me based on my 1,000, 2,000 viewership. But I bought this with my own money. This bag is in the $50 range, and well, before I do this, it has straps on it like a backpack. They're padded, so it should be pretty comfortable. It's got uh, a strap here so you can hook it onto the your rolly cart if you got a rolly bag. The, the handles that stick up, you can stick those on there. It's got a secret pouch down here where you can hide money or your passport that zips up that you can't see. And then it's also got a laptop compartment that's padded here so you can take your laptop in here as well. But the reason that I bought it is because it opens like a normal suitcase. So I'm going to show you everything that I packed three weeks in Europe travel carry-on bag. You're going to love it. So I got a little less creative as I got to the end here. So I've got linen long sleeve shirt and then like sort of a performance gear uh, fishing shirt. This is Ex Officio. They make their fly fishing brand, but they make really great clothes that pack tightly. They wick moisture. They're great for travel, as is linen. This is another linen long sleeve shirt. Linen short sleeve shirt. And then I've got, this is Columbia. I've got two of these long sleeve SPF like performance gear, moisture wicking shirts for uh, being outside, going to the beach, hiking, so that your keeps you protected from the sun. And this is the first time that I've used these packing cubes. Every time I watch a video about how to pack or how to go on a trip, they always talk about these packing cubes. So I actually packed this once and I just put my underwear in a packing cube and I had all the rest of this packed. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and repack the suitcase with the packing cubes. And I think they're working pretty good. I think I'm liking this. So in this packing cube here, I've got eight pairs of underwear and five pairs of socks, because I don't think I'm gonna be wearing socks every day. Um, and I've got a swimming suit that I put on the bottom that I put all this on because we're not gonna be going to the beach till probably the second part of the trip. I just realized that my light is on the wrong side of me. So this is all shady. So, packing cube number one, underwear, socks, swimming suit. Packing cube number two, and you can see they've got mesh on the top here. 
so you can see through so you're gonna have to take it out and unzip it to see what's in there which is a very smart idea also I did buy these with my own money as well they're not sponsored so in here I've got one two three I've got three t-shirts two of the like performance gear short sleeve shirts for hiking or whatever and I've got two like golf polo type shirts and one nice button down cotton shirt so I've got all my shirts in here I'm gonna see if I can fit a couple more of these linen shirts back in here um, but I'm just it's a little bit of a work in progress I'm not leaving for two more days but I wanted to do a trial run here and then get this video shot so I'm not trying to rush and do everything at the last minute <clears throat> And then in this big one, I've got three pairs of pants. I've got a little bit thicker pair of pants. It's going to be chilly. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be getting down into the low 50s, maybe in the high 40s for a couple nights. So I've got a warmer pair of pants. I've got white linen pants. I've got tan linen pants. And then I'm going to wear a pair of like hiking pants that are moisture wicking that, um, pack pretty small also I've got three pairs of shorts I've got two pairs of like dark gray shorts that look pretty similar so that people won't be questioned if I'm wearing the same thing every day I'll just kind of keep it black and then I've got a pair of tan shorts in here as well and then I've got two of these like Under Armour performance zip up long sleeve a little bit thicker for uh, keeping me warm on the cool evenings so I've got three pairs of pants, three pairs of shorts, two long sleeve shirts in here. And then I've got a lightweight windbreaker in this pocket in the top of the suitcase. So I can zip this all up. It seems tighter now. But I promise it fits because I just did it. Ah, there. So, and then in this zipper pocket, I've got my walking around shoes for town. So I got a pair of shoes in there. I'm going to put a pair of flip flops in this pocket, or they can go where the laptop is going to go. And then I'm going to wear these like Merrill hiking shoes on the plane because we are going to do a little bit of hiking while we're there also. So these, the packing cubes came with all the ones you saw there, plus this ginormous one that I'm not going to use, plus two clear ones that I'll probably use for some toiletries, and one more that looks like it could hang on a door or something. I don't know what that's for. I might throw this in to throw my dirty clothes in. So I am digging the packing cubes. I'll link to the suitcase and to the packing cubes down below if you're interested. This is 40 liters, I believe, which is approved for putting in the overhead bin. So I'll have this, and then I'm not, I'm not gonna put my laptop in the laptop space. I still have all of this room. I still got all this room in here in the laptop area where I could pack some more stuff. But I'm going to take my laptop bag with my laptop and all my camera gear. I'm taking the Canon N50 plus my DJI Osmo action camera plus like the little light I've got back there. I don't know if you can even tell. I got blue light reflecting back there. Plus my external microphone. I've got two of those lights and three lenses. I'm going to do another video on just the camera gear that I'm taking with me. So if you want to see that, uh, stay tuned. Leave me a link down below. Let me know you want to see that. And yeah, we're going to go to Spain. It's going to be exciting. The world is finally open. Spain just opened up to travel like, like two weeks ago. So we booked our tickets as soon as we could. And that's how I packed. Oh, I was going to tell you a little bit about linen. Maybe I'll readjust the camera. So I mentioned that I have a lot of linen in my bag. And since I live in the Caribbean, I do wear quite a bit of linen. And everybody knows linen is good for hot climates. But I thought I'd just give you a quick little history lesson here on why linen is good for you. Linen comes from the flax plant and it has long fibers. And so when they make the fibers out of linen for linen clothes, they tend to be like a wider um, thread. So when they weave together, it's a wider weave and it leaves more space for air to flow through the fabric. That's why if you hold it up to the light, you can see through it. That's why you need to make sure your underwear matches your skin tone 
So if you're a lighter colored person, you should wear tan or if, if you wear white with white linen, you can still see the white through because you can see through the linen. So it's better to wear underwear that matches your skin tone. So if you're darker, wear darker underwear. If you're lighter, wear lighter underwear. Grays work good if you don't have either one. But the reason it's good is because it has a wider weave and so air flows through it and linen can absorb like 50% or 100% of its weight and moisture before it starts to feel wet and clinging to you. And then because linen doesn't stretch, usually you wear it a little bit more baggy and so it has more airflow so it can absorb the sweat or the moisture from you and then it's flowy so it evaporates off quicker as well. And that, my friends, if you didn't know, is why linen is good for hot climates. They call it the character of linen, which is that it wrinkles and that's just part of wearing linen. You just have to learn to be a little bit wrinkly. You just, when you wash it, you wash it in cold water. You, you can machine wash it, hang it dry. If you want to hit it with an iron with a little bit of steam, you can when you travel. But that is the joy of linen, and that's why I travel with linen. I will be updating you on how the Inatech backpack suitcase works throughout the trip and the um, packing cubes, see how I like them. So stay tuned. I'll probably update you about halfway through the trip in a week or two. So if you've got a trip coming up, stay tuned. Watch that. Watch for the updates. But this is the new bag I bought and the new packing cubes. And this is how I'm going to travel through Spain for three weeks. Also, I'm planning on probably doing laundry once or twice while I'm there. I'm staying with the in-laws for most of the trip so I can use their washing machine. So I'm not going to wear the same uh, eight pairs of underwear for 21 days. I will wash them, I promise. I have been through Peru with a similar setup where sometimes you just got to turn them inside out. That's travel, but not this time. Traveling in class, staying with family, I'll have a washer and dryer. So thanks for watching. This is some more travel tips from the How to Beach channel. If you like this, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so, or at least if that's too much of a commitment, just give me that big thumbs up down there. Hit the like button. Thanks, and we'll see you in Spain.